So I enjoy target shooting, I enjoy firearms and such, and I wanted to get a ring that represented, you know, something along those lines. And I, for some reason, and I found out why later, there is no steel blued ring on the internet for sale, no matter where you look on ST or any of those things. So I decided to make one, and there's lots of instructions out there on how to make them. So I'm not going to go over the details of how to make a steel ring, because that's what you need to do, and then you need to proceed to blue it. So what I did first was, you know, of course you never do your magnum opus first. So I took four by pinky, just grabbed a small steel ring, steel nut, started off with this, annealed it. This is one of the ones that I uh, toasted. Annealed it, ground it down, and filed it down, filed out the inside, filed out the outside, and came out with this. I got, the, uh, got some Oxbow Blue. And, you know, blew it up real nicely. Here, come on, focus. There we go. Blew it up really nicely. It looks pretty good. So I decided to say, okay, well, that works. Let me proceed with doing one for my index finger. And having not, not wanting to do too much grinding on the inside. I forgive my son. Not doing too much, wanting to do too much grinding on the inside. And I could do grinding on the outside a lot better. Uh, I got a nice big nut. I could fit, you know, pretty much mostly on my finger. I uh, ordered that through Bolt Depot. Got that, ground it down, blued it up, and it came out like this. The only problem is, is if you can see, let me get it zoomed up here a bit better. Uh, come on, focus. It The bluing doesn't stay. Come on. There we go. As compared to a fresh bluing. Just because of wear, and you know, you're using it constantly on your finger, and it's going to wear a bit, and... I suppose if it was on my pinky finger instead of my index, it wouldn't wear as badly. But you can see the bluings coming off on it. It's no big deal. I actually got some Oxfo blue from Brownells. Used the cream formula. And it blues it up really nicely. And basically what I did with this is, like I said, I just used a Dremel to Dremel out the inside. And you can actually, let me see if I can get a good angle here. You can kind of see the thread still inside there. The downside of that is that I have to take it off when I wash my hands, other than that, otherwise they get wet inside. Hooray me. So, good side is, is I can stick it on this. I can stick it on that there. And uh, make it easier to, to blue. But what I basically did was I just took a grinder ground down the outside, ground down the inside. Where's the grinding tool that I had for that? Aha, here it is over here. And to get a nice, get a nice grind on it, what I basically did was I took a drill bit, 7 8 drill bit, built it up with duct tape, put it on my drill, Built this up with duct tape, put it on my drill, so you can see. After I dremeled out, uh, this one fits better. And it fits on nicely like that. And I just basically put the drill bit of this to spin the same direction as my, my grinder. So that way they're both grinding the same way, otherwise you're just spinning the same, if you're having them spinning the same uh, counter, if you have them spinning the opposite directions, then what will happen is it will just be just rolling against each other. So you want to have them both spinning the same direction, so you're actually grinding against each other. I had to rebuild, uh, build up the duct tape because the heat constantly got it to melt down and wear down. So that's what I use, just a simple thing like that. You can use a dowel, I know some people have used a dowel just... Shave down the edges till it fits. And just once you're done, I said I used a Dremel for the inside. Get your Oxfo blue. And you just put the bluing on. I should have put it on the steel nut. I'm not thinking today. Because I've got my son with me. I don't know if you can hear him in the background. And then the good thing about the cream is it just it goes right where you want it to go. And 
I usually just touch it up every couple weeks. And Oxbow Boo is really good. You don't have to worry about setting times or anything. It just use it and it works. As you can see, just one coat as you come on focus. Focus, focus, here we go. As you can see, just one coat has already darkened that up quite nicely. I'll just quickly put that back on and do another quick coat. Doesn't need much. It's just a little coating and brown ales, like I said, I like the Oxbow Blue. There's a lot of other ones out there, but this one, you know, a lot of them you do have to do multiple coats. You start off with coat A and you go from there. So if you want to do what I'm doing, it's the important thing is one, make sure you get a stain not a stainless steel. It cannot be stainless steel. It cannot be zinc coated. It has to be galvanized steel. Otherwise it's not going to take the bluing at all. Much nicer. Yeah, because galvanized, galvanized is the only one that's going to take the bluing. If you go for the stainless, that's got a, uh, a, a an anti-rust inside of it. That's why it's stainless, and basically bluing is just a bit of a rust coating on there. And just get a little quick polish with the. So, I know. Oh, did you lose your pacifier? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hang on. Go okay, it back. I got it. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right. Here. Crisis averted. Pacifier reinstalled. So that's basically it. I said Oxbow Blue. Make sure it's stainless steel. Not make sure it's not stainless steel. Make sure it's galvanized steel. Zinc coated, don't do that because when you kneel it, it'll just make some all kinds of bad, bad poisonous stuff in the air. I did that by accident once. Oh man, I was sick. But one more quick hit on there. Jump it out of my hand. Yeah. Just one more quick douse. Make sure I get all the edges. Like I said, just, just through wear. Just through wearing it, you know, through natural course of the day, it's going to wear down and just wear off. Because this is all, all bluing is, is just a protective coat of rust. Think of it like the green on the Statue of Liberty, of, on the copper of the Statue of Liberty. All that really is, is just a protective coat of rust. That's, yeah, no, no focus on brown owls, it's not a product placement. Come on, focus here. Focus on this. Yeah, anyway. And that's pretty much it. All nice and blackened up again. Glued up, ready for wear again. Well, like I said, I do this. I redo this every couple weeks, probably about every. It's, it's not over there. Oh, that one's not good. I do this every like two weeks. So if you want to make your own blue ring, that's what you need to do. Just follow the many instructions they have on the internet for that. And uh, just remember, you got to use galvanized steel. A little tip I did is since I don't have a belt sander. I used one of these to put the steel on. And that's all I got for today.